Right, this is the horse uh, with the serious toe plaques up his dorsal wall. This is the foot that we've maintained regularly, and this is the one that all I've done is just remove the shoe and remove the the, the bottom of the rebuild with a with a rasp as I've gone off. This one's been on there now 20 27 weeks, and this guy here we've maintained on a fairly regular basis. It's quite interesting. The foot that we've just allowed the initial rebuild to grow down on, or the crack re reinforcement to grow down on, still has a tendency to flare. We have a flare from here and there, and the, the wall is actually turning up. Whereas this foot here, the one that we've lifted the, the band up on a couple of times, is decreasing in circumference. It's tightening up, and the crack, as you can see now, the, the crack, that was where the crack went to with the hairline. You can see the cotton wool in it the last time we put the band on. Now, there's a tiny crack above it, but up through the perioptic band, there's absolutely no cracking at all. And I, I honestly believe that this will migrate outwards, where this guy is still cracked all the way through. So, we... <coughs> it's, just, it's just interesting to me that this foot is decreasing in circumference, and this is increasing. And, I, and the only reason that can be taking place is because of the fact that we're working on the, or have worked on the, the structures of the band. First job I'll do is just take the shoes off and, and nail them back on. I'm going to decide once we've got it off whether to take this off and put a band on because I think we really need to help this horse now to get to this stage from that stage. We'll take this off, I think I'll put a band around here, I'll leave this one as it is and we'll then review it again in another eight weeks when we come to see him again. This is the foot that we've banded regularly, change the bands and move them up and down as we need to. And you can see the, the shape of the foot is now that just a nice, traditional, round-shaped foot. When I uh, just, just put the shoe back on, this part of the foot, the shoe, was the same shape as before. Yet I had to bring the heel, swing the heels on a bit, because the, the heel has is, is got much more stable. It's not wobbling about all the place, all over the place. The frog has, has, has joined up. And we've got a, a much more tighter, compact unit in the area of the hills. What is interesting, if we now look at the migration of the white zone, do you remember the white zone migration on the earlier pictures? The white that zone was located here and there's a huge solar plate hanging out underneath it. Now there is no solar plate hanging out underneath it and the white zone has almost has got right down to the border of the shoe. You see that? And there again I think that's indicative of a, a, a greater level of stability in this foot. The control foot, the foot that we haven't moved the band up and down on, this has not had a, the band altered in the 18 weeks, in the 28 weeks we've been working on it. Notice this sole is relatively prolapsed here compared with the other foot. The other foot had a nice uh, concave surface. This is still prolapsed here and the white zone, we're digging, it's still very insecure. However, on day one, when we first started this treatment, this foot was not considered critical at all, but it hasn't substantially improved, whereas the other foot that we moved the band up and down on has. Here we have the control sample foot. You can see the extent of the crack that we covered over with the first patch as the holes and the fine crack that goes up from it. I've dressed the flares off of it. It still is got a slight dorsal depression here. It still isn't stable and I'm pretty certain I'm going to stand this horse on the floor now. If you watch that crack, I think it'll demonstrate when it's loaded and unloaded that it's still opening and shutting. To be absolutely fair to this horse, I think we now need to take this foot out of the, the control state and put a band like the other one on it. Interesting point, on day one this was a far less traumatised foot than the other one and that is clearly indicated by the fact of the total absence of a white zone showing near the border of the shoe. The white zone is still in the right place on this foot. We'll just demonstrate the instability in this crack if the horse will let us. Stand him on the toe. You can see, I'm unloading it now. You can see how open this crack is here, all the way down. 
Have you, you can see that clearly, I hope. Okay, well, what I'll do, I'll let the foot stand back on the ground, and I'll lift the other foot up, and you'll see it closing up. Can you see how that's closed up? Try it once more. Lift up, man. Put it back on, see it, it's open. Right, watch it close as I lift the other foot up. So that the other foot can't do that because there's no crack any longer at the top, but this foot still does open and close. It's unstable, and we really do need to help this horse out. Right, I've now disinfected the area with uh, isopropyl alcohol, undercut the edges of this, burn into the edge of the crack that we're going to cover up. Uh, we'll just wait for it to dry. Just tidy this little bit up here. I'll put in a base level repair onto this, wrap it in cling film and let it, uh, let it dry off and then we'll just put a top coat uh, fiberglass strap over it. Okay. Just leave him, leave him off the ground a little bit longer if we can, then we'll put it in, go back in his box till it hardens, yeah. and we'll go through the next process. Yeah. I'm not, I, I, I wish... Last words. No problem at all. This particular one, we're not even going to have to put a, uh, a coat on to stop them backing out. But they've gone in far enough. We've used quite a bit of used quite a bit of uh, adhesive and uh, in, to impregnate the sausage sausage band. It has that this nylon sausage nylon fiberglass sausage band has huge strength when it's locked together with uh, with adhesive. Yeah. Keep you lifting an elephant up by it nearly. You can't move it with your hands. 